Hey guys, Mars Inc. here bringing you another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle video and so today we are going to be looking at this physical LR Trunks. Uh, mine has two dupes, he is of course full level 10 links. He is an easy A LR and uh, he gets the 200% leader skill from the new Goku and Gohan team. So what's great about this guy is he does raise defense for 30% for 6 turns on both of his super attacks. So basically the only major difference is that one does Colossal and one does Mega Colossal. So obviously you want to try and get the 18 key super as much as possible. Um, he gets a 50% chance to crit, which is really, really good. Um, he's got 150 attack, 100 defense. 3 key and additional 50% attack when attacking extreme class enemies. And high chance of performing a crit. Plus an additional key 5 and performs a guaranteed crit when there is a wicked bloodline enemy. So a little bit of flavour added in for obviously the moment of killing Freezer. Not a huge amount of events where you fight a wicked bloodline enemy. Um, we're going to try him out in an infinite Dragon Ball history stage. And we'll see how we get on. We do not have the best starting rotation for him of course. No support. Uh, only two links active. He is at 144k defence. So... He's going to be going up to, what, like, almost, almost 200. He's going to be a little bit under 200, which isn't too bad, considering two links and no support. Um, and then, of course, if he double supers, he does get another stack, right, because he stacks for a, a good few turns. So, because he has 50% chance to crit, and now his easy A, you know, he has that super attack, uh, the defense raise on both supers. I think he did have it on... Pretty easy age, just not for as many turns. Um, additional is the best build for him. Because obviously, if you can double super, you get the double defense raise. And obviously, both of those supers have a 50% chance to crit. I mean, 50% chance to crit is the equivalent of giving him 25 crit in the hidden potential system. So getting that for free on a unit is obviously very, very good. So we have a whole bunch of different units to here that I've brought basically just to use alongside him. Uh, this AGL Prime Battle Trunks, who I've already done the 200% video for, is actually one of his best linking partners. Because unfortunately, the physical LR does share the same name as the STR Trunks from the Broly movie that is the 40% Hybrid Saiyan support. So you can't run them together. I mean, you could run him on the team for the support, but they don't link. So obviously it's a little bit more awkward. So this uh, rotation where we get this Trunks with him is obviously going to be very good for links. And then, of course, Xeno Vegeta um, is a 40% support for Vegeta family. Um, that's one of the reasons why this Goku and Gohan's leader skill is so good. Because their 200% leader skill is not the best. But their, you know, their double 170 lead is super, super good. And it has a lot of really good units. Like, obviously, we're moving into that meta now where 200% is what you want for your um, things. Oh, is it Shocking Speed that he has? No, he has Shocking Speed. Oh, it's because we have Shocking Speed and Prepared for Battle, which is a very interesting combination. Um, so I guess let's put... I don't want to get supered in slot 1 on either of these units, really. But I guess we will... Uh, we'll put Gohan in slot 1 just so we have the support around for longer. Um, and then we'll do this. So we obviously got a defense raise on the previous turn, and now we have a 35% support unit. So we have almost 250k defense, which means we are going to be going up to over 300k defense after the super. 4.2 million, not too crazy, but if we get the crit, which we did not. I was going to say, if we get the crit, that does make up for the attack stats being a little bit lower. Um, but he did have, like I say, over 300k defense on that turn. And we are continuing to stack the defense as well. So... That is going to be looking really, really good. I'm going to put them in slot one on the hopes that they can get an additional. Although I feel like I mention this in every single one of these 200 showcases on the uh, Goku Gohan team. The showcase isn't about them, so I don't really care if we uh, exchange them or make them look super good uh, during this video. Because that's not the, not the point of the video. Alright, so we'll move on to the next one. Uh, I think uh, all of the enemies here are super types. I don't actually remember if any of the great apes that we fight during this run are extreme. But this is the rotation that I want to run. So we share four links with Xeno Vegeta. And as I've mentioned many times in other videos, once you get a couple of supers off with him, he is perfectly runnable as a slot one unit. And now we can get the full 24 key. We've got five links active. 
348k defense at the start of the turn. And we're going to get another 30% raise on super attack. So he is going to be at, what, 450k defense after supering? So even though his attack stat is not as high as some other units, the 50% chance to crit obviously helps make it so that that attack is then doing a bit more damage. But yeah, 450k defense, that is uh, <laughs> that is pretty good. I mean, 5.4 million attack stat is honestly not that bad. This is probably his best rotation. Because um, when we get the AGL trunks in slot 3, we're going to have more links active, but we're obviously not going to have the 35% support. That the um, that the Super Saiyan 2 Gohan is giving. So go ahead and do this. We'll get supers for everyone on this turn. Why not? Um, we probably finish him off here because uh, the two Gokus haven't really had a great amount of build up. They haven't done a ton of dodges. They haven't done a ton of supers to stack their attack. But it should be enough to finish him off this turn because uh, even without getting a crit here with type disadvantage, Gohan should still finish him off. Yep. To the next one so there we go now we've got the extreme int so let me just double check again I read it out at the beginning but we get an additional 50% attack when attacking extreme class enemies and three key that does make a pretty significant difference because I think every single turn so far we've only been seeing him against super enemies so I'm really interested to see how this jumps up now because um, we've got more links active. We have every link except for Shocking Speed is active now. So this is going to be a very good turn. We're getting the 50% extra attack, which is going to be a significant boost. Because um, we've already seen him at like 4 to 5 million. So getting the extra 50% is going to be very, very beneficial here. So what are we looking at? 6.2. And we don't really need the crit because he's in. But can we get the crit? No crit, but we still do like 5 million damage. And then we get an additional normal. I've mentioned this before, but like, why does Dokon still have this weird glitch where additional normal attacks just get skipped out sometimes? I don't really get that. But yeah, this AGL Trunks did more damage, and he got the final blow there as well. We did the showcase for him and struggled quite a little bit in order to get his... Uh, his... Um, his finishing blow so he could get that extra buff. I completely fumbled over what I was going to say there. But yeah, and of course here, when he's just a floating off rotation unit that was basically just there for a couple of extra links, he goes ahead and gets the uh, gets the finishing blow on the uh, Azaru. So this rotation is still so great. If AGL Gohan gets an easy A in part two, which I don't know how likely that's going to be, but man, this rotation will just be absolutely insane if that happens. I guess we'll have to see. Obviously, SCR Gohan didn't get hit first, but that's good because we want him to take a bunch of hits in the middle there. And then there's no hits in the third slot to worry about for Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. Um, will Xeno Vegeta kill here? He might do. We have So we're, we're starting to drop off some of the stacks because remember, only stacks for uh, six turns. But we've still got 300k defense pre-Super here. So, I think uh, Vegeta doesn't kill. And then we grab these, right? So, get the full 24 key. Uh, four links active. So, let's see what we get out of Trunks. We are back to fighting super type enemies for the rest of the event. So, obviously, his attack stats not going to be as high as the uh, one against the Int Great 8 Vegeta. But obviously, that kind of means that even on this 200% team, it means you probably do just really want to be running him in events where you're going to be fighting extreme type enemies. But obviously that's not always going to be the case. So I thought we would take him into this stage to see how it goes. Um, we did get the one phase against an extreme enemy. So we did get to see him with the high attack stat. But I mean, defensively, he's still just very, very good. Right? Like, you can very easily take him into difficult content and uh, getting up to like 450k defense post super attack is really, really good. Um, and then Gohan here is going to get all the last attacks he needs, so his full passive is active. Permanent guard. We're going to counter the super as well. Let's go. I love it when these make it into these videos, even if we're not showcasing him. Uh, 2.3, that is. Do we have a support unit on this rotation? We're going to crit. Look at that. Countering. No need to be not take a super. 
but we then just dish out like a 5.8 million damage crit. I think even missing the nodes here, it's not going to make any difference, right? He's just going to get absolutely demolished by the uh, double Gohan setup. But yeah, no support on the rotation. And that counter to the super did more damage than his actual super attack. That's actually crazy. But uh, yeah, very, very good. So now we are going to be looking strong. Five links, lots of support. So let's see. This is probably going to be the final turn, I guess, for him. Um, still a very strong unit. Uh, you know, mine's only two dupes as well, you got to remember. So at rainbow, his stats are going to be a little bit higher. There's that super attack damage up thing in the top right path. So... Against an extreme class enemy with the support, he's easily breaking like 7 million attack with a 50% chance to crit. So that is really, really good. The only downside is, like I say, mine has 20 additional and we didn't get a single additional super attack. So there you go. I speak it into existence. That's how it works. Because we got the additional normal. But that means double defense raise as well. So yeah, he just takes no damage. And then watch, uh, watch this Gohan get supered and get obliterated here. But that is the physical LR Trunks. Um, definitely still very good. The only problem for him, along with some of the other Trunks is, and some of the units that we have talked about so far, on the Gohan and Goku 200% team, is that a lot of the units that are their best link partners and the people that you would want to run on rotation to make them look their best are not getting the 200% leader skill. So, for me personally, like, if I want to take a 200% team into a really difficult event, ideally I would like the whole team to be under the leader skill. But some of the units that are going to work best with some of these big hitters, especially in terms of supports, are not getting the 200% leader skill from Goku and Gohan. So, let me know what you think about Trunks as well as the 200% team for Goku and Gohan down below in the comment section. I'm still putting out a ton of these 200% videos, but if there's any I haven't done yet that you guys want to see, make sure you let me know down below in the comment section. So, that is going to be it for the video, guys. This has been the Master Ningen. Smash that like button, subscribe to the channel if you are new. Check out the links down below for the Discord and the merch store, and I will see you all again soon. Have a good one.